Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to do a really fast sales update. I'm going to try and get through these as quick as I possibly can. So without further ado, I'm not going to ramble in this video. We're just going to get straight on with it and I will share some of my sales with you. So uh, number one is this Builder, Builder Bear Hook Fang House Training Dragon Collectible Put Plush. I priced this to sell at $29.99, knowing full well that there had been an auction listing that had sold the day before for 24 quid. So I thought, I'll whack a fiver on it, you know, uh, extra for buy it now, and I'll just price it at that. And I'm assuming that it'll sell within a week. And that's exactly what it did. I picked it up on Tuesday of this week. It's now Friday. It's actually the 6th of April, the new tax year. And um, yeah, I basically just priced this to sell. £4 in the charity shop on Tuesday and it sold, I believe it was Thursday it sold, so really, really happy with that. Great profit on that, 30 quid plus postage, so can't complain there. Uh, Tim, Bull uh, Tim Bulmer, I think it's Bulmer, Fine Art Metalware Sculpture Paradise, entitled Paradise. Um, I actually accepted an offer of 65 quid plus postage on this, so I didn't get the 100 quid plus postage. I don't know why, but eBay don't, don't really show best offers when I am doing my, uh, displaying my listings like this. Um, but yeah, I actually accepted an offer with 65 plus postage. Still, I was more than happy with that. I actually picked up uh, an auction for £18 plus postage. There was no information on solds or anything like that. So I just kind of priced high. Um, I did look on Google and I did find that someone else was selling one of his sculptures for about 120 on one of their websites or, you know, just a random website. So um, I just priced it at 100 and just waited. Didn't really get much interest, but then, as I say, um, someone sent me an offer of 65 quid. I think it was for some sort of uh, display, art display or something they were doing. I can't quite remember, but they sent me a message and it was something to do with some sort of display or event that they were doing, that they were holding. Um, so I thought, you know, it's going to a good place, you know, if it's some sort of art display or something like that. So, um, yeah, I was quite, have, quite happy to accept 65 plus post. And I actually showed this uh, in advance on my Instagram. So, you know, if you want to see a few extra sales that you might not see on YouTube or a few sales that you, um, you know, you might not get to see on YouTube for maybe a few weeks, then the in my Instagram is a place to go. As every now and then, you know, not all the time, but maybe once a week or so, you know, maybe once every two weeks, I will share. Uh, a few sales on there as well as other posts that I do on there. So yeah, just if you want to follow me on Instagram, I think it should be up in the corner of the screen somewhere. I don't know. Um, but I think it's at adrobo96, I think my little Instagram handle is. Um, so yeah, be sure to go over there and follow me on Instagram. Again, I believe I uh, shared this on Instagram. This is a vintage Paragon Art Deco uh, cake plate. Now I believe... I'm not 100% sure whether it was Paragon or whether it was someone else, but I believe Paragon was uh, in business between 1919 and 1960. Uh, they did actually do some stuff for um, Her Majesty the Queen. Well, not Her Majesty the Queen. Would it would have been it would have been a king back then. It would have been like King George V or something. But they did anyway. They did some stuff for the royal family. I don't know whether it was for when you know Elizabeth II started her reign or whether it was like George V or something like that. Um, but they did some stuff for the royal family anyway. I really do like some of their stuff, especially the Art Deco stuff. You can see here, this one is a really, really nice example. Uh, very ornate, lovely, lovely design to it. Got this little floral design in, in, in the front here. I don't know what flowers they are. Uh, I don't know whether, uh, they're not lilies or anything, are they? But I, I don't quite know what those flowers are, but really, really nice design. Um, as you can see here, that here's the stamp to the bottom. We've got Paragon there, fine uh, bone china made in England. And we've got a, uh, where it looks like a wedge number up there. So, um, yeah, quite happy with that sale. I'll just flip it back onto that picture. Quite happy with that sale, 20 quid. I couldn't accept less than that for what it was. It would kill me if I accepted less than that. There was no other solds, I don't believe, of this type. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go at 20 quid. And I could not accept a penny less. And I didn't have to, well, I suppose I have accepted a penny less because I've accepted 19.99. Well, I actually listed it at 19.99, not the round 20. But you know what I mean. Um, I didn't want to go any lower than that. So I was really, really happy that someone else agreed with me in the fact that they thought it was worth that. And uh, they 
yeah, hopefully they were really, really happy with it, as I was very happy with it, um, you know, just photographing it, dealing with it. Yeah, really, really lovely item that is, and I won't bang on about it anymore. Um, so next is this Dr. Who Titans vinyl figure. This is actually a rare one. Now, I have opened the packet, but these were brand new and sealed. Uh, now, I did kind of do something that I'm not particularly happy with in the sense that I did list this as new, even though I did open the packet. And essentially, whether that's not quite adhering to eBay's terms, you know, in terms of what's new, what's used, I don't think it quite is. However, there was a few other people doing it, and I thought, I know you shouldn't just follow the crowd, but I thought, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to say state it's new, because it was new, it was straight out of the packet. It was basically like selling a Lego minifigure, uh, you know, like a collectible minifigure, that you just open the packet to check what it was. Um, but yeah, it wasn't completely new, so I was a bit, you know, I was a bit like that where I should list it as the condition new. But yeah, I got 19.99 for this figure because it was brand new. However, I wouldn't have got that if I didn't open the packet to check what it was. So um, yeah, it was definitely worth opening the packet to actually check it. And uh, this is the Doctor form. I believe it was Human Nature with the uh, Fob Watch, which obviously contained the Time Lord's consciousness. I do have a few little niggles about that episode but I won't go into it here because I could ramble about Doctor Who forever but I do have a few little niggles about you know Time Lord Consciousness being in a fob watch and basically being turned into a human because how would your physicality how would your physicality of being a Time Lord switch to being a human it doesn't make too much sense I know that there's a chameleon was it the chameleon arch yeah chameleon arch that rewrote his biology but I I don't, I just, I just feel it's a bit far-fetched, but anyway, um, I won't ramble about that. So this was something I got ages ago, you may have remember on a haul video last summer from a car boot. Picked this up for a fiver, I wasn't too confident on this actually, if I remember rightly on the live stream. I was saying that I'm, I wasn't sure whether I'd only get about 15 to 20 on this, but I did hold out. Uh, obviously I paid a fiver for it, so I wasn't, ho you know, I was hoping to get more than 15 quid really. Um, but yeah, I held out and I got 49.99 plus postage, I basically just whacked it on pretty high and ignored the kind of low ballers that were coming in, and yeah, as I say, it took a while, but I got there in the end, and I actually got 50 quid, so quite happy with that, uh, these two brand new and sealed Ken Dodd DVDs, I talked about these in a recent video, I believe, a haul video, and uh, yeah, I whacked these on auction as soon as I got them, because I knew it was time sensitive, and I didn't quite know what to price at with uh, buy it now, so I thought I'd whack them on auction, they owe me 50p, so a quid in total, so it doesn't really matter what we get, um, I think I started them at like 2 99 or something, and uh, they ended up going for 21 quid, so I was more than happy with that, and my mum was actually really surprised when they went, she was like, oh my god, bloody hell, she couldn't believe like, you know, sort of, we would have gone for that much, but, it, you know, it, time sensitive things like that, they do surprise you a little bit, you know, I was, I was hoping for about 15 quid, something like that, but, yeah, to get over that was, I was quite happy, so it's just a random, uh, vintage stoneware studio pottery, uh, water jug, or I suppose you might be able to call it a euro as well, um, 14 plus postage, yeah, nothing amazing really, you know, it's a fairly nice water jug, but it's, you know, it's just a fairly standard stoneware one. Um, but yeah, 14.99 plus postage, kind of standard range, you know, £20 all in for something like that. So yeah, quite happy with that, but I'd say just standard really. Again, just came from a job lot. Um, again, something else that just came from a, from a job lot owes me next to nothing, literally pence. Uh, this was this vintage decorative studio pottery um sort of vase or pot and it was marked aj now i'm assuming aj is a local potter it's not like one that i've heard of it's not like a studio potter that is is big or anything like that so it's probably just a, a local potter so you know i just literally put the mark in there being aj and you know obviously it being a local potter and uh that's that really and you know most of these don't get that much money. As you can see here, it's not like a mega um, tall pot or anything, about 13 centimetres, I believe that is. So yeah, 10 quid plus postage, standard bread and butter range. It is, you know, what, what I will say for it though, is it has quite a cool, funky looking design, to be honest, you know. you might It's kind of one of them designs you might either love or hate, but I think it's quite cool, you know. Um, so yeah, that was that one anyway. Um, next was something that I really like actually, and I'm really glad that I held out for 20 quid on this, 
which is this uh, copper hammered effect sort of small cauldron. Um, and yeah, it's quite a nice item. You can see in the photo there, it, it comes up quite nice in that photo. Um, it has got quite wear. Well, I don't know what you call that inside there. Um, maybe like, you know where copper kind of goes like a greeny colour? I'm not sure what it's called. I don't know whether it's corrosion or something like that. But um, it has got some, you know, some of that inside. But I've not heard it had any, um, you know, come back off the bio or anything. Obviously, it is a vintage item, so it could be expected. I don't clean any of my metal well. I like to leave them in the, in the state they come to me in, just in case someone else, you know, likes the patina on them or anything. So I just photograph them well and, and leave it at that. So, yeah, 20 quid plus postage. More than happy with that. Uh, lovely sale. Next was this. Oh, I just... Take that off there so you can see the photo properly. Uh, this was the Wade but World Victoria. Now, I've seen these a few times, um, but I've never actually had one myself. So I was quite happy to pick one of these up. You know, it's not been amazing, but it's just one of them things that um, I can kind of tick off my bucket list or like my kind of thousand item bucket list of all these different things that, you know, little things, bread and butter things that I want to find or want to sell. Because obviously I have items that are bigger and that are more expensive that I want to sell but there's also I have like a little bucket list or quite a big bucket list of items that I see regularly but I've not actually picked up yet that are actually bread and butter items so yeah I I, I have seen these in the past but this is the first time I picked it up 12 99 plus postage came out of a job lot again cost to me 50p a quid at most um, and yeah really really happy 13 quid plus post went pretty quickly as well now, something you will have seen in a whole video recently, or, well, fairly recently, in the last month at least, um, in that random auction box haul, um, were these four English Pusier drinking tankards. I tagged up Oktoberfest on the end. Just I know they're not proper October Oktoberfest signs or anything, um, but I thought I'd tag that on the end just because, you know, it, it kind of might draw a little bit more traffic to the listing, so... I did that, and uh, as you can see, one of them's a little bit bigger than the others. Um, but yeah, I mean, a couple of them there have got like a hammered effect. Um, but yeah, I got tenner plus postage. I did say that these don't generally go for a lot. Now, I did. I maybe could have got more if I had separated these out. However, I've tried separating these out before, and they've, they've been a bit slow. So what I decided this time was I'd do four. I'd price them competitively uh, in the market, and then... Hopefully, we'll go fairly quick, and that's exactly what we did. So, 10 quid plus my uh, 6.99 Hermes postage. I, I did tag 6.99 Hermes on there just in case it did go over the two kilograms. I can't remember now whether they did or they didn't. Um, maybe I've saved myself some money if they didn't. However, um, I did want to put that extra postage on there just in case these did go over the two kilogram mark because. As I say, when you've got a box and you've got padding in there and stuff like that, it can quite easily be taken over that mark. But, yeah, quite happy with that sale anyway. And it got them out because they were really just odds and ends in the job lot that I really didn't even want to deal with, to be honest. So it just got them out for a little bit of money and maybe recoup most of the cost of the job lot and then other better things are, are my profit. So, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this sales update. I won't ramble for any longer. If you did, then please do whack a like down below. Don't forget, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned before, uh, follow me over on Instagram. And there's also packaging links down below. So if you want to support the channel, then you can do through the Amazon, uh, Amazon associate links down below. So, yeah, I will leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next video. So see you very soon, guys.